good morning today we are starting with the new topic that is multiplication of matrix with a scalar scalar means a number real number imaginary number any number if multiply with a matrix if a is some matrix let this matrix is 1 2 3 4 simple matrix i am saying if i say you multiply this matrix with 3 3 means a scalar number then this number will multiply with each and every element of the matrix so it will become 3 it will be 6 it will be 9 and it will be 12 this is called multiplication of a matrix with a scalar so keep in mind whenever we say any num matrix multiply with a scalar it will multiply with each and every element okay that is the first thing you should keep in mind second thing which we are having multiplication of a matrix with another matrix multiplication of matrix with matrix or multiplication of matrices we are taking now first thing just like in addition of matrices i told you that if we are going to add two matrix only when their order are same but if we are taking multiplication let the first matrix is with order m into n and another matrix is b which is having order p into q and if we want to multiply a and b two matrices we want to multiply one is a another is b a is one matrix here b is the second matrix this is called pre multiplier and this is called post multiplier so whenever we have a into b a is the pre multiplier b is the post multiplier then the multiplication of these two matrices is only possible when the number of columns in pre multiplier is equal to number of rows in post multiplier that means we should have n is equal to p one thing is clear the multiplication of the two matrices is only possible when the number of columns in the first matrix is same as the number of rows in matrix b and then in this case the new matrix which you are going to get let this is c will be having order m into q that will be rows coming from pre multiplier and q that is the column coming from b so this will be the condition very important one multiplication always uh, you will find some problems so but only if only the thing is if you understand it carefully it will be very easy otherwise uh, there is a slight confusion so that you should remove first i told you that a and b are going to multiply only when number of columns in pre multiplier should be equal to the number of rows in post multiplier first condition second thing i told you when a and b are multiplying then the new matrix which you will get will be giving rows from pre multiplier and uh, column from post multiplier by the way, if I say B into A, we want to calculate. In this case, what I am going to say, then in this case, B is the pre-multiplier, A is the post-multiplier. Then B and this A. So then Q should be coming equal to M. In this case, Q should be equal to M. And the new matrix will be C will order P into M. So this is very important a b and this is b a are they having the same order no so one thing is clear a b is not necessarily same as b a in few cases it can be when it is 2 by 2 2 by 2 then these order will be same and we will get the matrix same but this is not a general condition so every time we are not getting a b is equal to b a which we will discuss later so one thing is clear this is the multiplication only possible when this condition is going to hold now i'll take an example if by the way we have a matrix A, 1, 2, 3, 2, 4, 5. This is one matrix. Another matrix is B, 2, 4, 5, 6. My question is, can A, B be possible? 
A will be the pre multiplier, B will be the post multiplier. This order will be 2 into 3, this will be 2 into 2. Okay. Now, in this case, what you will find the column here is not equal to rows here. That means AB is not possible. Why? Because the column of the pre multiplier is not coming equal to the row of post multiplier. By the way, I say you find out BA, then B will be here 2, 4, 5, 6. A will be 1, 2, 3. 2, 4 and 5. What is the order of this? 2 by 2. This will be 2 by 3. So we will say yes, these two are equal. That means now BA is possible, which will be giving a new matrix. This is a, we are saying BA is possible and BA which is possible here will be having order, new matrix C will be having order 2 by 3. Three. That is rows from here, column from here. So in this case, what you will find AB is not possible, but BA is possible. And BA is coming with matrix 2 by 3. This is the thing you should keep in mind. Now uh, we'll multiply how we are going to get the result. So now I'm just telling you how we calculate BA. B is 2, 4, 5, and 6. Another matrix is 1, 2, 3. 2, 4 and 5. This order is 2 by 2. This is order 2 by 3. These two match. So new matrix which you are going to get will be with order 2 into 3. 2 into 3 means now the elements which I am going to have is A11, A12, A13, A21, A22, A23. Or if it is a product you are taking, we can say P11, P12, P13, P21, P22 and P223. Uh, so this is the product matrix we have. Now how we are going to calculate P11? P11 if you want to calculate, then one thing is clear. You are taking first row, first column. First row from here. Okay and first column from here how many elements are here two and here also two elements so we are just multiplying first element with the first element plus second element with second element so two into one it's two plus four into two come out to be eight this is the first element p11 then we go for p12 one is here two is here so what it will be this multiply with this 2 to the 4 plus 16. Then 1, 3. First row, third column. What it will come? 2, 3 is a 6 plus 20. Okay. Then comes second row, first column. So second row is here, first column is here. So 5 plus 12. Then first row, second column. What it will be? 10 plus 24. Then first row, sorry, second row, third column, what it will be? 15 plus 30. Then what this final result come out to be? 10, 20, 26, then 17, 34, then come out to be 45. This will be the new matrix you will be having BA which you have already calculated. So keep in mind this will be the multiplication of matrices. So simply you can multiply any two matrices. You decide which can be possible which is not possible and then you can solve the question. One more example I am taking in fast. For example if we have matrix 2, 3, 5, 4, 6, 2. This is one matrix A and second matrix is 2, 5, 6, 8. This is B. Is AB possible? Let's check here. 3 into 2 and this is 2 into 2. Is this possible? Yes. So we should say AB will be a new matrix. Let it be C and the order of this will be 3 by 2. Same way if I say BA you calculate. 
So B will be 2, 5, 6, 8. And what is A? This is coming as 2, 3, 5, 4, 6, 2. And this is 2 by 2. This will be 3 by 2. Is it possible? No. What I should say? BA does not exist. Okay. And now if you want AB to be calculated, 3 by 2 means it will be P11, 3 columns, uh, 3 rows, 2 columns, P11, P12, P21, P22, P31, P32. And then we go for it, 1, 1, first row, first column, what it will get? 4 plus 18. Then first row, second column. It will be 2, 5, 10 plus 24. Then 5, 2, 0, 10 because 2, 1. So second row, first column, 10 plus 24. Then it comes 25 plus 8, 6, 48. Then it come out to be 12 plus 12. Then this multiply with this, it will be 30 plus 16. So this way you can complete this and Every time you are not finding AB and BA possible, whatever possible, we can calculate. So now you will be completing 3.1, 3.2 from NCRT and 5.1, 5.2 and 5.3 from RT. So that you should complete. Next uh, class, I'll be taking some more multiplication, some more examples because this is very important. You should know how to multiply. And don't be in hurry, just don't do direct calculations. Take time, write down this type of matrix and then proceed. You will find that the multiplication will be clear. Actually, we are preparing for six mark question. And in that, multiplication is very important. So keep in mind, this you should be very careful. Keep in mind, thank you.